guys, uh, welcome to Akuna Moscato, my name's Matt. Uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about the herbicides that we use in the vineyard. Um, there are a huge range of different herbicides that we can use, and that we do use, in fact. Um, but mainly it boils down to two different uh, forms of chemical, which is glyphosate, or Roundup, which is commonly, commonly used. There are um, some other alternatives to Roundup, which also has glyphosate as an active ingredient, and the other chemical that we use, glyphosinate ammonium, um, or commonly Basta or Bifo, uh, those sorts of chemicals. But Basta was the original one. <clears throat> uh, the reason why we, we break them up and use them is because of the different modes of attack. So uh, right now in the growing season when there's green leaves about we use predominantly glyphosinate ammonium, uh, Basta, just you know, get rid of the technical terms, it makes it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, so we use Basta this time of year. Uh, the way the Basta works is it's a non-selective herbicide, um, same as glyphosate. Uh, so it, it attacks any, any form of plant, it doesn't have a, a target range or a target plant that it affects. It works by uh, inhibiting a, an enzyme central to plant metabolism. Uh, the plant absorbs the chemical uh, through its green parts. But the reason that we use Basta at this time of year is because it only affects the green parts of the plant that it hits. So if we're spraying around the butt or the trunk of a vine, it's less likely to have an effect on the plant. If there is any suckers or anything growing from the base of the vine, it'll only affect the areas that it comes into contact with and not the entire plant as opposed to, to glyphosate, which we'll discuss soon. Yeah, so it gives us the freedom to go through and spray during the growing season without actually affecting the plant's growth and development and it allows us to just target the weeds that are growing at the base of the vine and in that general area that we want them to remove. By definition a weed is anything that is growing somewhere where it's not supposed to be um, and a weed killer or herbicide is designed to get rid of that and that's why we use it this time of year. It frees up air movement so it's, it's, it's critical to have uh, herbicide control. Not critical but, but it's certainly helpful to have uh, herbicide control so that you have freedom of air movement through the canopy, uh, it assists with spray penetration, it makes picking easier, uh, the, prick, the pickers are less likely to get prickled or um, you know they can get to the fruit easier, it's just it's much uh, much more easy to access the plant having used herbicides through the season. And then during winter we uh, use glyphosate or Roundup <clears throat> and the way the glyphosate works is also um, by covering the green parts of the plant, but it's a systemic herbicide, which means that it is actually taken in by the plant that, that you sprayed with the chemical. When, when you spray glyphosate uh, onto the green parts of the, the plant that you're targeting, it is taken up by the plant's circulatory system and then is translocated, uh, which makes it systemic because it enters into the plant and travels along the um, plant's network, food network. Uh, it travels um, through the plant into the target's plant's crown and roots. Um, and there it collects and eventually it chokes off the food system to the plant that you've sprayed uh, for a complete kill of the plant, which means that it also kills the root system as opposed to Vasta, which more or less just burns the tops off and leaves the roots active. So Basta is also good for promoting uh, soil aeration because it leaves the roots um, of the target plants in the soil and they in turn break it up and, and aerate it a little bit with the, the roots travelling through the, the, um, the soil. And it also adds some organic matter into the soil as well, uh, which is important for biodiversity. <coughs> so it's good to use Basta. Sometimes it's good to put it off for as long as possible so you get a lot of root activity under the soil because um, the overuse of herbicides can lead to soil compaction where you're eliminating all that root activity under the ground and um, what happens is especially after it rains when the water disappears all those little pockets of air where the nutrients and water sit underneath the soil they um, disintegrate or collapse on each other and eventually there's no air pockets there anymore 
No air pockets means that there is no room for roots to travel. <clears throat> they can't break through the soil and, and push up through. Uh, this is called soil compaction. Um, and there's no little pockets for nutrients to sit or nutrient rich water to sit. And that's what the little suction cups on the end of vine roots, that's what they look for. They look for those little air pockets and they sit in those air pockets and they'll suck out the nutrient rich water. Um, so overuse of herbicides can, can also lead to that. So it, it's a fine balance, but finding that balance is, is a great thing for a vineyard and it's also a great learning experience, honestly. Um, it's so in-depth, you could spend your entire life studying it. And um, yeah, there's a lot of opinions about using herbicides uh, on farms in general. Um, Monasto has certainly copped a bad rap in the past. Or the original product developer was actually bought out by Monasto. And they certainly copped a bad rap. They do a lot of great things for the uh, the, the agricultural community um, worldwide. Yeah, so that's about it really. I can't think of anything else. Um, if you have a particular question regarding herbicides um, and you think I might be able to help or answer, then leave a comment down below. Um, if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button. It really helps me out heaps. And um, yeah, I appreciate your time. And I'll see you next time. Just want to give a quick shout out to Leah for suggesting this topic in the first place. Thanks Leah, appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying being back in France and uh, we look forward to seeing you here again one day.